Alright, what's up guys? Um, yeah, just opened this from the mail and I am diving right into the review because I need to open it and see it and touch it and put it on my face. So, I'll start with the box here, which I already kind of did that in the mail video, but uh, this side you get the Bandai logo at the top, 15 plus, I got, you know, 10 years plus on that, whatever. The story, the story in some other languages. Spanish down there, uh, Le Recit, that must be, uh, French. There's the Rangers there, nice big look at the helmet from the side. This is what I guess would probably be the front, it's got the logo and the legacy, the gold legacy, uh, title there. <clears throat> the helmet from the front, and just some warnings and advertisements down at the bottom. Sorry, this thing's so big I have to move my camera to do this. Here's the other side. Another look at the helmet uh, in the profile view. Talks about Jason, the Red Ranger, the original Red Ranger, who was replaced by Rocky eventually. And there he is down in the corner there. A little picture of him. Uh, the top actually has... The Red Ranger on it. it says Legacy Red Ranger again. And the bottom has nothing. A couple more uh, warnings and stuff like that. Yeah, let's open this thing. I literally dove right into this. Probably should have blew my nose before I did. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is too freaking cool. Here, bud, set that somewhere. My son's sitting here with me. He's pretty excited, too. Okay. So there's the base. Kind of neat. A little lighter than I expected it to be. Oh, my word. I am just beside myself right now. Huh, it looks like it's actually adjustable on the inside too to help fit on heads. Oh my lord. I figured there'd be some padding inside, but no padding. Oh, interesting. Okay, I better get this on screen and share with you guys. I'm not entirely sure how that's supposed to sit to display. Hopefully better than that. Oh, let me take a look here real quick. Okay, there we go. With a little pressure, it actually locks into place on there. Wow, this is cool. I was really worried about, um, like, fogging up in here, but there's actually little air vents on both sides that will hopefully help moisture escape and keep it from fogging up while wearing it. That's cool. I'm so glad they did something like that. So, yeah, let me pull this camera back in here. There it is on the base. And there's the helmet itself. It looks really nice. Really, really nice. The paint is beautiful. 
the mouth with the metallic uh, silver looks excellent. The visor looks great. The paint on the silver teeth looks excellent. The eye up here, which I'll have to raise this so you guys can see. Very, very beautiful, clean paint apps. <clears throat> There's the clips. Which I'm not exactly sure how they unclip. I'm scared to, like, touch this thing too much. There's the back of it. And the other side. It's definitely freaking cool. Maybe a little bigger than I expected it to be. <clears throat> I won't know for sure. Um, you guys will know that. I'll do another video where I'm going to have this thing on. And uh, I'll probably talk about that stuff more then. I'll show you guys the inside. See, it's got that band in the back that can loosen or tighten. So it, it is adjustable. So it should fit a decent range of uh, of head sizes. All right, I'm going to check these clips out real quick. And see how they kind of come on down here. Instructions in that box at all. There's this. Oh, what is that? I don't know. There's something else in the box that my kid found. I wonder if it's a. Okay, it is. It's like a hair cap or something to put on underneath the helmet. That's cool. It'll be handy. Keep people from getting their hair pulled and stuff. So, yeah. I'm trying to see if there's any instructions in here. I didn't see any. There's some. Underneath this other big foam piece. Hmm. Alright, I got some instructions, yeah. Okay, good. See, I'm glad I looked at instructions because I assumed <clears throat> that these clips would pop up and come forward, <clears throat> but they do not. You push. See that? They're actually hinged. And that is how you open the helmet. So let me get this open real quick. There it is, there's how it opens. Well, nice little uh, teeth set going on. Got a nice little clip thing at the top there. <clears throat> All the way around, nice, uh, even at the bottom there, you can see that uh, there's a male and female piece. So it definitely uh, locks together pretty uh, solidly. So yeah. There it is, guys. A look at the brand new 2016 MMPR Legacy Red Ranger helmet. It's beautiful. It looks really, really good in person. The paint is excellent. The whole thing, the way it's molded, it looks excellent. We'll see if I don't end up customizing it a hair, <clears throat> which I'm not talking about the outside at all, but I might look at uh, doing some kind of foam type stuff. Um, on the inside I don't know we'll see how comfy it is if it's not very comfortable but it says they keep saying oh it's comfy it's made to wear for hours of cosplay uh. so we'll see and if it's not comfy I'll I'll do something but uh, <coughs> excuse me um I guess yeah 
if you're enjoying this, look forward to another video where I'll actually have it on and you can see how it fits and what it looks like um, on someone. So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do that today, too. It's, uh, it's coming on 11 o'clock now. I filmed the mail opening. I filmed this little review. And, yeah, now I'm going to go mess around, put this thing on and stuff. So, all of these should be up today. So yeah, if you're keeping track and liking this, then look forward to that next video as well. And until then, keep on rocking, guys.